But just to divert your attention for a little bit, we're going to have a look at job creation here in the UAE. There's a new report coming out from the recruiter Cooper Fitch. They say they've seen an 8% rise in UAE jobs in Q1 this year compared uh, to the quarter before. Very pleased to be joined by Trevor Murphy. He is the company's founder and CEO. Trevor, good morning. Uh, good morning, Brandy. As a man who was denied entry to the studio by the floodwaters this morning, you are very sensibly doing this from home. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah, no problem. So we've got an 8% rise in new jobs from the quarter before. That sounds steep to me, is it? Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a very strong number uh, coming into uh, into the first quarter of the year. We have seen that that's probably off a, a weaker than expected Q4 result, um, where we saw a slight dip or a, a larger dip than we expected. But the first quarter has started uh, very strong, um, uh, particularly in the UAE. I think as it compares with other countries, um, they're certainly taking the lead. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of new job creation. There's a lot of organisations that are are, are have come here are expanding, so it's a very positive start to, uh, to the year, particularly for uh, for United Arab Emirates. Are you seeing these new jobs come from existing companies, or as you say, new companies coming into the country? What would you say the rough split is? I would say about thirty percent of them are from organisations that are coming in, um, and the balance is from uh, organisations that are already based here. And, and are expanding either their product line or their service line um, are, are generally in a in a healthy position. There are some exceptions to that, um, but uh, I think on the overall, it's it's been a super positive start. And who are you filling these jobs with? Are you filling them with people from outside the UAE, people who are new to the UAE, or longer term expats? I guess it very much depends on 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 the sector. Um, we've seen, um, you know, like even even in technology, we see part of technology cloud down quite considerably, and and, and cyber down uh, three or four percentage points. And then the digital and AI space uh, kind of having a significant a ramp up in quarter one. So I guess the 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 nature in which are the areas that we're taking people from whether it's within in region or in country it just depends on the sector um i think there's a there's a general um uh, a general view that people that have already that are living here um and are, have worked here for a while they're they're a preference for a lot of sectors such as banking and finance um and and, and other areas um where where they understand the market and understand the region quite well and then there are certain skills that are just um, uh, that we don't have an abundance of and we have to bring people in for those particular sectors. I was very surprised. You mentioned AI and, and tech there, and I can see that real estate is growing as well in your report. Not surprising. Consulting, though, yeah. is seeing a slowdown. That did surprise me. Talk me through that. Yeah, first time in in four years that we've seen a slowdown uh, on the uh, consulting, particularly on the strategy, the management consulting and strategy practices um, are, are down for the first time uh, in many quarters. So a lot of this, there's, there's certainly a look, um, particularly in Saudi Arabia at the moment, uh, what the consulting firms are are, are doing. And there's a general overview of, of firms um, uh, to understand what what firms are needed, but even on the, 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 the mega and giga projects. Um, and they've seen a slowdown in their pipeline of work. And the net result of that is that um, after a number of years of significant hiring, a lot of them have, have grown minimum by 50%, some of them up to 100% growth. Um, we're, we're seeing that they're now looking at what, what's needed and what's required based on their clients' requirements. So that's a very interesting uh, market. We saw a little bit of a slowdown in, in a, a little bit of a reduction in hiring in Q4. Um, and now we're seeing a reduction in hiring in Q1 this year. Um, uh, surprising because it's been consistently a very high performer, but ultimately um, it's, it's a reflection of the market. One minute left with you. You mentioned Saudi Arabia, 5% increase there in terms of new jobs in job creation. A little bit lower than the, the UAE. What's the reason for that? Are we seeing a, a, a bit of a pullback? I think we're probably seeing a, 
maybe a slight pullback. I think um, I think there's been there's been a lot of talk about uh, some of the some of the larger projects in Saudi, um, looking at those and making sure that um, that they are, you know, in some cases that spending will need to need to be reduced in areas. Um, um, but I, I think it's um, I, I think we could see even a further even a slight reduction in Q2 in Saudi um, as, as, as the government attempts to balance uh, fiscal policy and, and, and understanding where spending needs to go to. Um, I, think, I think we could see some further, um, a, a slight slowdown, maybe still some growth, but maybe some, some more nominal growth. Um, uh, we've already seen that into April where a typical post Ramadan and Eid period would see a significant ramp up. We have seen a ramp up again, but it's not not to the level that we expected. So it, it's just a little unclear um, what what the job creation numbers are going to look like for 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 this the coming quarter mm-hmm. um, and, and for the rest of the year. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Trevor Murphy, founder and CEO of Cooper Fitch, talking us through job creation in the UAE and Saudi at the moment.